welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about another really cool bait that I just found out about and that is the uh, Lucker Hunt is the uh, Descend Crawl. Now what's really cool about this bait is uh, that it's filled with salt. It has an inner salt chamber that allows it to pretty much like weightlessly fall when you're fishing with it so you don't really have to use like a weight per se. So you can just like pretty much just three throw it out there and it will like sink automatically because of the salt that's filled in the chamber. Now another really cool thing is like in the pack, at least this one, it came with some hooks to use while fishing with it. Yeah, I got it in this uh, lunker box right here. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, another thing I really like is the rate of drop this thing has. Like I tested it uh, without a weight and with a weight and it has a really good like slow rate of drop without a weight. But if you add a weight to it, it almost acts like kind of like a Ned rig because it'll hit bottom and then these hands will just like wave in the air like that and then it'll slowly fall over. So this thing has a really, really good amount of action and it is like really, really nice. It's very strong rubber. Uh, here, I'll give you all the uh, really good pull test. This is one I've already hooked up and used for uh, the fish tank to show you how it moves and I'll get to that little clip in a minute. But uh, this is not like your soft, like thin rubber guys. This is pretty thick stuff right here. I'm not gonna lie, Lunker Hunt kind of went out and uh, made it a little bit more thicker. Now, unfortunately, the other thing they made thicker was the price tag on this. Uh, they have it on Amazon for $9.95. And it is eight pack. They don't say it in the descriptions, but I counted it and you do get eight in a pack, which isn't too bad. So um, again, the, the pull test, see, it is pretty strong stuff here. I'm actually having to try to pull. Okay, this is getting stupid. Hold on. Ugh, guys, I am not kidding. There it is. Oh yeah, filled with salt. Look at that. Come on, focus, focus, focus. There it is. You can see like the white little flakes in there. It is just filled with salt. Same on this end too. Just filled with salt. Yeah. So this stuff is strong, at least right there at the base is. Now, if a bass grabs the claw, I'm gonna do the claw one right here. Yeah, that, that kind of just pulls off. I'm not gonna lie to you. And the antennas will come right off. And then the last claw. Yeah, it, I mean, it comes right off. But the good thing is the body is where the hook's gonna be. Like right in there in that thick stuff, that's where your hook lays right there in the groove. And so that's really, really, really gonna help you. So when you set that hook and that hook kind of like comes out from being skin hooked into that bass or in that fish that you're catching this on, it won't rip the base body because it is such like really, really thick and strong plastic. Guys, look how thick that is. That is super thick all the way around. So it's gonna be really, really, really hard to rip. And that's kind of a good thing because at a bait at this price point, almost $10 for an eight pack. Sure, an eight pack is a good amount of baits, but most of the time with saw plastics, you know, they rip after one or two bass and you know, you're done. So you're really only getting, what is it? Eight pack, two bass at 16 bass. But if you use this stuff, guys, it is super strong, super durable. So when you set that hook, it's not gonna rip it and tear it apart. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, if the bass doesn't get a hold of the claws, the claws might fall off, but you always have two pairs of claws. So you can always throw it back and just use the one. yours anymore so you're probably gonna get probably double your bass out of this i'm probably looking at about three four might be pushing it but you could possibly get four bass per bait depending on how you set the hook and how the bass reacts so it's really really nice uh the hooks they give you are pretty uh nice quality as well uh forgot these are uh four aught wide gap so they are pretty nice hooks pretty strong pretty durable can't really bend them so that's good because sometimes these baits they'll give you like these free hooks that you can just bend easy and uh this one you can't so that's a pretty good stock four out hook i'm not gonna lie to you so all in all not a bad bait uh, i did look on amazon and i don't think they come with the hooks ones i think the only way you're gonna get the hooks is if you get the lunker hunt and gift box I uh, know the gift box is uh, $20, but you do get $40 worth of baits in it. You get all this really cool stuff in the back. Like, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I got this as a gift. <laughs> so, you know, it's free to me, but it's really, really nice. A whole bunch of really good baits in there that I'm really going to go over and review with y'all. But the first one that caught my eye was this one because I have never seen a crawfish look as lifelike as that. I mean, I've seen like the other crawfishes from like Striking KBD. Uh, Yamamoto baits like stuff like that and you know they look like crawfish a little bit 
but not as near as durable as this guy's. Uh, I mean, sure, the claws don't have the paddle action like others do, but if you're looking to be in for the long run, yeah, these are thick and they're gonna last. So I gotta say for $9.95 for an eight pack, it's pushing it, it really is. I like to stick to the cheaper stuff, but when it comes to quality over quantity, you're really gonna get more bass in your bag if you use this, the thicker plastic is definitely gonna come in clutch, so it would definitely, definitely help. But uh, that is all I have to say about this, guys. Uh, definitely really good stuff. I am about to show y'all uh, the underwater footage so y'all can see that, because I thought it looked really, really cool. So you know what, Let, let's, go ahead, let's go ahead and roll that. We'll roll that, let me show y'all that. Yeah guys, so there you go. You see it for yourself. The bait looks amazing in water with and without a hook. So I'd say if you're fishing like a shallower type of water, like under docks and it's like a five foot drop, heck, go, go weightless. You don't even need it. Go weightless, let that sucker just like slowly flutter down and then slowly sit up and then go for it. But if you're fishing anything like deeper than five foot, I'd say go ahead and slap on a little bullet weight on there, not too much. And uh, just throw it out there and let it do the work for you because it's going to fall down, it's going to sit, and it's going to flutter, and it's going to slowly fall over. And it's just going to look amazing. So, um, uh, what, what am I going to say? I don't know. I'd say it's probably worth it. These are really nice baits. I'm definitely going to be using the crap out of them. Uh, we're going to see how this pack goes and see if I like it, and I'll keep you up to date about it. But we're definitely going to put them more to the test and see how they actually do out in the field catching bass and see like what happens when bass, like you hook them, they start jumping, they start uh, frailing and how their teeth really like grate onto the bait and how the plastic handles that so we're gonna get into that too later down the road but for this it's just a out of the box open review I want to share this with y'all I think it's really cool if y'all have used the descend crawl from Lunker Hunt please let me know in the comments and let me know what y'all think about it guys uh, but if you like more if you want to watch more bait reviews like this I got plenty of them I love to talk to them about them so guys hope you enjoyed the video y'all let me know y'all keep it real peace